Oh, look, it's me, Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG. Back with some more of uh, spoilers. I don't know. I don't even know why I do spoilers anymore. There's just so many channels doing spoilers. It's just kind of silly, and these views don't matter at all in the long run. But I like doing them just to keep you guys a little bit up to date, you know, with the latest cards going on uh, in the community. And there's some crazy talk that some of these lands are going to be $10 a piece. I don't know about all that. They look pretty good. We're going to get into all that. Um, there's about 20 some spoilers to go over. So without any more BS, let's just get into them. Um, I, I made it really easy this one. It's going to be a short video, maybe like eight minutes long. So uh, Ren and Seven, five drop. Legendary Planeswalker Ren. I have not even read this card. I like that it's in green though. Uh, plus one, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Put any number of land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. That's that's cool. That'd be that's that's pretty cool. You are late. It's already it's, it's a five drop already. It's not like you're ramping into this. This is like ex, like even extra triggers from landfall abilities and just bonus stuff to just go kaboom on opponent, you know, like late, mid late game minus three, create a green tree folk creature token with reach. And this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. I like that. We're creating a tree folk tree folk. I haven't really seen tree folk archetype in quite some time. I know when I first started magic, we saw a lot of tree folk. I'm sure there were tree folk in the last few years, but none that really stand out to me. Maybe I'm just overlooking them, but this is really cool. Um, I like the minus three. It's pretty legit. Um, equal to the number of lands you control. That's going to be a big boy. Uh, minus eight, return all permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. You get an emblem with. You have no maximum hand size. Wow. So this is like an extended crazy ramp card <laughs> for like mid game that just gets nuts into late game. You want this thing around. Really cool, really powerful mythic. And I like the new symbol uh, for the set with the wolf there. And it's howling. That's pretty legit. Champion of the Perished. Cool card. Uh, zombie. It seems like this card already exists, but maybe it's new. It just sounds really familiar. I don't know. Creature Zombie. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Champion of the Perish. Of the Perished. Sorry. It's Perished. Past tense. This thing's already dead. All right. He rose from the graph for every cobble. The graph digger, right? Not Graph Digger, but uh, the, the the giant Graph Darf. What's his name? I was just talking about this card in a video like a month ago. Very similar to that card in a sense. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, Cobbler Tanner. And Fool Who'd Be Slaughtered in the Parish. And they rose and shambled after him. Cool, cool, 1-1. One, one. So this thing's a grower, not a shower, okay? Uh, I like it um, in that sense. I mean, this thing gets larger over time. The more zombies you have that enter the battlefield, the bigger this thing gets. We've all seen what crazy threats can become from a one-drop zombie in recent standard history. Have we not? Have we learned anything from that? We learned it was a powerful card. I can't think of the name of the top of my head, but I know it's there. Uh, this thing's cool, though. I mean, by turn three, you can already have this thing being a 4-4, 5-5. Five, five. It can get pretty out of control quick, man. Uh, even bigger than that, you know, with some cantrips and whatnot and just things that get crazy, you know. Uh, in Infernal Grasp is a two-drop. Destroy target creature. You lose two life. Destroy target creature. You lose two life. That seems pretty legit. You don't want to lose the whole game, though. You know, um, running a play set of this in your deck, if you were to use that each time, that's eight life lost. I hope you're able to gain some life. Or you just have a really perfect plan and you're not running shock lands or pain lands or, 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 or fetch lands or this land or that land, you know, because you're going to be draining yourself of life quickly. Do I think it's good removal? I think you need some life gain mixed with this kind of card. I mean, especially, I don't think it's, it's, it's cheap, but you're paying too. And with all the other stuff, with a lot of the lands, I'm talking outside of standard also, you know, thinking kind of a little bigger than just standard. That can be a, a problem to spend two life. So there you have it. Um, what else we got here? Um, play with fire deals two damage to any target. In standard, though, it'll be a decent card. Maybe sideboard like two of them. Or you can main board with a life gain deck. Main board four or life gain. Play with fire deals two damage to any target. If a player is dealt damage this way, scry one. That's not too bad. I mean, scrying is huge. 
Um, especially in like a storm build, that would be phenomenal. Uh, with a with a storm count going, you know, that uh, play with fire and then some draw ability too. That's pretty. That's not bad. I like it. Then we have join the dance on these beautiful lands. They they are beautiful. Uh, create two one one white human creature tokens. Flash for five. Or flashback. Flashback is coming back. Holy crap, Jack. Create two one one white human creature tokens uh, and flashback for five. That's cool. So you can you cast this card again from uh, your graveyard for the flashback cost and then exile it afterwards. So pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's a good card. You're getting good value out of there. I like it. Consider as a common look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Draw a card. Consider... <laughs> It's like scry one and draw a card. Uh, it's kind of like an opt. Very, very similar. Um, very similar. That, that's What's the difference? Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Oh, I see. So you can either draw that card or print What's the difference? Oh, graveyard. One's a library. Gotcha. Difference. Okay. Not bad. The new lands are breathtaking. There's more cards after this. We'll get to them in a second. The new lands are absolutely beautiful, guys. I do like them. Uh, fantastic work from Elena Danner. I, Elena Danner, Alana Danner, however you say that, she does a lot of really phenomenal work that I've seen before. Uh, Dan, beautiful work as well. I don't know what it is about black, but just the color black and white, like black and white portraits blended together, you know, or images or art, um, I think a lot of us are fans of. And uh, I'm a huge fan of these right here. Do I want them all in foil? Yes, right now. Um, and especially, oh man, these just remind me of like WWE, the undertaker, the swamps down here. We'll get to in one second. This is really cool. Um, Island, Island, mountain, mountain, beautiful, beautiful art. Um, uh, they're not going to be 10 bucks of uh, a freaking land, but I mean, it could be, <laughs> they look really, really neat, you know, but these will be more heavily sought after lands than, than other ones we've seen in, uh, in recent times. I think Wizards had some kind of, bu not bummy sets, but dr more nerfed sets uh, that dropped. The last two sets were not that impressive. Let's call a spade a spade, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts, though. Correct me if I'm wrong or I'm hurting your feelings right now in any way, shape, or form. Please, I'd love to hear from you. Um, but the last two sets, the Harry Potter wannabe set, it didn't really live up to the hype. Um, I think there's a lot of neat things in there, but eh. And the other set, um, the, the Dungeons and Dragons, I, I think it's cool. It goes along with the Dungeons and Dragons stuff, but not really the most impressive set value wise. I mean, you're almost, it's like Chaldean value, which is bad right now. Those are two sets that are going to have to grow in time. That being said, I think that Wizards is going to put out a powerful set or two with this Innistrad. Plus Innistrad is one of the more favorite sets. Uh, it's more popular out of players. So that's something to think about as well. Um, here's the Borderless Ren and Seven. Really, really cool. And then we have our bundles. Uh, these come in bundles only. Uh, Triscada Cafe. Triscada Cafe. Hold on. Triscade uh, Cafile. Triscade Cafile. Duh. Uh, you have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have exactly 13 cards in your hands, you win the game. For four, draw a card. That's cool. I'd like to try that. Self-mill and just win the game. That's pretty crazy. You know, it'd be funny. You're Well, I guess that's a that's a static ability. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have exactly... Yeah, at the beginning of your upkeep. So your opponent can just pause you right there, shock you before your upkeep. Before your upkeep takes place or whatever. You know, or, or not shock you, but lightning bolt this creature, get rid of it. And then you're like, oh, dang it. And then you miss that. And you can't put that card back. Oh, it's funny. Uh, interesting. I like that. Uh, very interesting. Oh, 13 cards in your hand. So you have to have no maximum hand size and have 13 cards. Just so you get a discard kind of build. This is a fun, interesting card to play with. You know, it's more like, gosh, uh, it's, it's total jank is what it is. But, uh, if you're going to draw heavy and you get that no maximum hand size is already built into this card. Sure, man. And just counter them, counter them, counter them. God, how annoying that could be. Uh, this could be a really good, crazy win kind. I like the Triscade of Cophobia things and the Triscade of Cophile, whatever. They're fun cards to play around with. Here's the other artwork for the Swamps uh, and Lands. Pretty cool. And then we have some miscellaneous promos. Champion of the Perished uh, and some alternate art there. Join the dance, play with fire, 
internal grasp and consider. Uh, that about does it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. My camera keeps moving around, so every time you watch me, it's like in a new place. But now it's right in front of me. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on all this. That's it. I'll repeat myself if I have to, but I really don't want to. The new Renin 6 is pretty cool. Uh, Renin 6, Renin 7. Keep that in mind. Renin 6 is freaking busted. Uh, yeah, I love the new lands. That's my take on all this. I'm Joy Moss, Babylon MTG, Skadoosh.